few days ago I came out here to do an ultimate test on this Synergy swimming gear uh, for the cold water and my one camera died and this one was overexposed. If you want to see the story behind that you can check out my last video here. Today I'm going to go out there and I'm going to actually put this Synergy wetsuit gear to the test. I have a couple goals. Number one, I want to swim at least a thousand yards. I don't want to go much further than that because it's 51.8 degrees. I don't know how long my body will be able to withstand that temperature. Goal number two is to correct my sloppy form from the other day. Holy smokes, it was so bad. I could really tell that I was trying to get my face out of the water to breathe because it was super cold. So I know that would probably play a role in the fact that I was completely turning my body to breathe. So I want to correct that today. It also may have something to do with the fact that I only swam like 10 times this past year, but I really want to put an end to that. And that is where Synergy came in with these amazing boots, gloves, and a hood. So I also have their sleeveless wetsuit, which I absolutely love, but I'm not brave enough to go out there in a sleeveless wetsuit today. So I do have my Roka Maverick for that. When I was out here the other day and I was swimming in this, I realized this gear actually works, but I had no idea what I was doing and figuring out how to put socks on. I don't know if it's supposed to go under or over, but I put it all over. I think it's fine either way, right? turned out to be a little too hard for me to comprehend that day because I came out and I had them above my wetsuit, which was one mistake I learned. You need to put it underneath the wetsuit because they will roll down. So today I did that correctly. I was fine with the gloves on the outside. I'm going to keep it that way because I want to be able to easily take off the gloves when I'm done swimming. All right, let's put on this last glove. Here goes. Got my frog gloves on. actually. I've already done 162 yards. I feel good though. I don't feel cold. Halfway done with my swim. These frog gloves are like swimming with paddles on. Burns a lot more. That's it. Okay. Yeah, that felt good. Let's discuss the open water swim now that I am warm and dry. I know many of you probably won't even consider going swimming in the cold water. I absolutely loved it. I mean, it was just too good with all this stuff from Synergy because I didn't notice how cold it was. And the reason behind that is because the more you swim in the cold water, the more acclimated you actually will get to it. So you notice when you first initially jump into that cold water for the first time, you get that big shock. But then you notice the more you do it, the easier it gets and that initial shock isn't so strong anymore. When you initially start swimming in the cold water, your body has not yet adapted to it. It doesn't know how to deal with it. So usually when you get really cold, you'll start shivering. And that's your body's way of trying to warm up your core temperature. So the vessels in your body will start to reduce in size. This is called vasoconstriction and allows the heat to go towards the deeper tissues of your body, which insulates your core temperature and it allows your skin to cool to a greater extent. <laughs> so swimming in colder temperatures more frequently is believed to stimulate a more rapid vasoconstrictor response. On another note, you should really listen to your body because if you do actually start shivering after you've been cold adapted, then that means your core temperature is starting to get to unhealthy levels. So you should immediately get out of the water, get that cold wetsuit off, put on some warm clothes and start the process of warming up your body that way you don't have any severe health issues. So basically, I will be out there like me utilizing this until the temperatures get warm enough that I don't need that stuff, but I'm very excited for it. If you are interested in trying this out, and I have all the links of course in my bio, so if you wanna give them a go, the Amazon affiliate links, it does help support my channel. If you are interested in purchasing there, I will get maybe a tiny little bit of a commission. If you have any questions, please feel free to Leave them in the comments and you can always reach out to me on Instagram and TikTok if you have any questions or would like to DM me personally. So that's all I've got for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.